Hey there, thanks for stopping by. I'm sure many of you are wondering where Matthew is and who is this person. So I thought I would take this Wednesday to introduce myself to you as a new member of the TPM channel. My name is Sam. I am a law student with a background in philosophy. I am currently based in Montreal and I am launching a new series on this channel called Chicks and Balances. What I want to do with this tiny slice of YouTube is have authentic conversations about Canada. Um, I won't beat around the bush. The fact that I am a woman of color definitely informs this decision. I found that when asking my girlfriends to come in front of the camera with me to have debates about culture, about politics, about Canada, there's always this instinct to retreat. An instinct to say, you know, Sam, I don't know enough about that. And I thought that was worrisome for several reasons. I think as young Canadians, we are often preoccupied with the circus that is American politics, or if anything, only contribute in the cultural political sphere of, of discourse. But we forget that we have a disproportionate influence on Canada. Canada is a very young country. I think the lack of culture is the result of only being less than 200 years old. So my first act of civic engagement was actually registering to be a liberal. I must have been 15 and I decided I wanted to be political, uh, whatever that means, and I just registered. And I thought that was kind of the default party. But as I got older, and obviously I met different kinds of people, um, I was aware that there was this other party in existence. And I actually, while I was still technically a registered liberal, I went to the conservative leadership debate in Montreal in 2016. So I went with one of my buddies and I kid you not, I was amongst a sea of men, like 99%, um, all of whom were very overdressed. But despite that, there was an atmosphere that I really, really loved. It was kind of a laddish atmosphere of possibility. Now, every single guy in there believed wholeheartedly that they were the patron of their destiny. They were so hopeful. They were concerned with policies that would affect them years, years in the future. Um, and I thought that was really interesting because by the time I turned 17, uh, a lot of the conversations were about identity and getting bogged down in your identity and how your identity meant that, you know, you would be inhibited somehow. And I'm not saying that's not true, but there's only so much of that young people can take because it's not a very hopeful worldview and it doesn't really inspire. But in that room, everybody was inspired and I could not believe it. And I really left that room inspired, not because any of the candidates were even remotely inspiring. I mean, let's just say that Andrew Scheer won out of that group. But I realized that I could do that. My buddy could do that. We can all kind of do that. It's not this far-fetched dream. If you work hard, they're just ordinary people. And I realized that I wanted to spend time with people who also adopted that philosophy, that you are kind of in control. It's that anguish that you feel when you're about to make a very important decision. Now we call it anxiety, but it's, it's that feeling that, you know, you've complete responsibility. And I think that living any other way is to live irresponsibly. And I think to live any other way is to do yourself a great disservice. And I think engaging more young people convincing them that they are in charge will do wonders for Canada. So as Canada gets older and as we mature and find our footing in the world and within our borders, I think it's important to let young girls and young people know that they have a responsibility to help form the country. And right now there is a lack of female voices in Canadian politics. I'm not gonna presume that I can change this in one YouTube video or even a YouTube channel, but 
I really want to start. <laughs> Lastly, I want to know what you guys want to hear about. What topics? Uh, what format? Do you like interview style? A more conversational approach? So definitely let me know in the comments below and I will be looking forward to reading them. So subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, share the video, and I am so glad to be on this ride with you guys. I am so excited about making great videos and I'll see you next week.